In this video, we'll be talking about the photodegradation of methyl orange and methylene blue dyes by using the zinc oxide photocatalyst. Photocatalysis is the acceleration of a photoreaction in the presence of a catalyst. In the photocatalytic process, light energy is used to drive a pair of chemical reactions. Typical photocatalysts used include zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. These photocatalysts are used because of their optimum band gap, environmental friendliness, and their high catalytic efficiency. In this experiment, zinc oxide photocatalysts will be used to photodegrade methyl orange and methylene blue dyes. This experiment is divided into two parts. In the first part, you have the preparation of the stock solution of the methyl orange and the methylene blue dye, while in the second part, we will be photodegrading the methyl orange and the methylene blue dyes. In the first part of the experiment, a standard solution of methyl orange and methylene blue dyes are prepared. 20 ppm of each of the dyes prepared in a volumetric flask, while 100 mg of the photocatalyst, which is zinc oxide, is also prepared for this experiment. In the second part of the experiment, the methyl orange and methylene blue dyes will be photodegraded. We will be using a solar simulator to simulate the solar radiation while the photodegradation will be monitored by using a UVV spectrophotometer. This experiment will be performed in the dark because we want to prevent the interference from external light sources. For the photocatalytic degradation of methylene blue, we start by determining the initial concentration of our stock methylene blue solution. So the first thing we do now is to run a reference. In this case, our reference is the distilled water we use to prepare the methylene blue. After running the reference, we then proceed to run the UVV spectrum of the methylene blue solution. Here is the UVV spectrum of the methylene blue stock solution of 20 ppm and this particular spectrum is what we check out. We check the decrease in the intensity of this methylene blue spectrum to determine if our photocatalyst which is zinc oxide is photodegrading the dye. After determining the intensity of the 20 ppm methylene blue solution from the UVV spectrometer. Now we move on to do the equilibration experiment. Here we had the 100 milligrams of the zinc oxide photocatalyst into the aliquot of the 20 ppm methylene blue. This experiment is done for 20 minutes in the dark. After the 20 minutes equilibration in the dark, 
we take aliquot of the sample for the UV base analysis. We had the microfilter to the syringe to filter out any residual zinc oxide photocatalyst before the UVVs analysis. As we can see from the UVV spectrum of the methylene blue, the peak intensity has decreased from the initial concentration of the methylene blue to the equilibration experiment. Let me zoom in so you can see it properly. After the 20 minutes equilibration reaction, we then proceed to the light reaction. This is when we switch on the solar simulator for the zinc photocatalyst to start the degradation of the methylene blue dye. The sound you are hearing is from the solar simulator and this experiment will be done at 10 minutes interval. After the 10 minutes photo degradation, we then take aliquot of the sample for UVV analysis. A microfilter is used to remove any residual zinc oxide photocatalyst. Thereafter, the sample is taken for UVV analysis. As we can see, after just 10 minutes reaction time, all of the betylene blue dye has been photodegraded. Here's a zoomed in version of the UVB spectrum. As you can see, it's at zero. So this indicates that our photocatalysts have successfully photodegraded the methylene blue dye. As you can see, after just 10 minutes reaction time, all of the methylene blue dye has been photodegraded as evident from this UVV spectrum. Similar step will be taken in the photodegradation of methyl orange dye. And this concludes the video of the photocatalytic degradation of methyl orange and methylene blue dyes.